Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and oftentimes we receive email for people that are asking for some help or some advice about their particular deployment. Oftentimes these are point to point or point to multi-point deployments. And these are people that aren't really looking to hire us as consultants, but they just kind of want our advice. Hey, is this going to work? Is that going to work? You know, what would you do in this situation? That type of thing. Now, normally we send those folks over to our Discord community at discord.io slash crosstalk. There's a whole bunch of people that are in that community that like to answer questions and help out other people in the community. However, what I've decided to do here is take some of the more interesting or sort of more common scenarios that we receive and turn those into videos to not only help out the person that emailed in, but also help anyone else who might have a similar situation that they want help with. So let's dive right in. Today we're looking at an email from Dave. And Dave emails and says, hello Chris, my name is Dave. I have recently purchased my in-laws place. We have, I will be building on property very close so they may stay in their home as long as they can. I will be staying in a large fifth wheel camper while we build the new house. Service is horrible and I must be connected. Just like all of us. <laughs> so I have watched many of your videos. Thanks by the way, you're welcome Dave. And I think I have the solution. I want to buy from your store and support your efforts. Thank you very much for that as well. The main house will have Xfinity installed next week. I want to broadcast Wi-Fi to a shop uh, we have there as well as the house and my camper. I should have good line of sight to all. There are trees, but I believe I can get an unobstructed view to the house. The shop is about 60 yards from the house and the camper is about 70 yards from the house. The shop and the camper are about 25, years, uh, 25 yards apart. I was hoping that two M5s would do, but I want to be sure I am buying the right stuff. I am far from a tech guy. I feel good about following your videos, but if you think of anything that would make it easy on me, please pass that along. Along, if you include links in the email, I will simply click and buy. Thanks for any help you can provide. Okay, so whenever we get an email like this, of course, it's very difficult for us to say what will and what won't work without some sort of map. So the first thing I did is I wrote Dave back and said, hey, do you have a Google Maps or Google Earth overview where you can mark up where is the internet and you know where do we need stuff to end up being? So this is what Dave sent back. Now this isn't the best picture I've ever seen. It could certainly be a lot better. Uh, I actually prefer just a straight up top down view of the uh, overview of the property. But what we have here is location one, this is where Xfinity is going to install their equipment. Location two is the shop. And then location three is where he's gonna park his fifth wheel or his camper uh, while the house is being built. So it looks pretty good. And I do see a couple of trees in the way here, but again, he said that he could, there are trees, but he could get line of sight. So I'm gonna disregard the trees for this installation. Now, what is going to work for his install? Let's take a look at what I came up with. And I came up with, again, two scenarios here. One is the nano station scenario. So the question he asked was, would an M5 work? And the answer is yes, probably it would. The M5 is a great piece of equipment and this would be my M5 design. So here's the house up here. We would have a nano station M5 on that house broadcasting in point to multi-point mode. Of course, we also wanna make sure that we have an ethernet surge protector plugged in that is a properly grounded. And then on both of the remote sides, the station sides of this point to multi-point connection, we could just do the nano station loco M5. So I would do a loco M5 at the shop, again, into an ethernet surge protector, and then you can run that out to an access point. If there's not a lot of heavy duty stuff going on inside the shop or inside the fifth wheel, the UAP AC light is going to be perfectly fine for that scenario. Same thing with the fifth wheel. However, the only difference is with that fifth wheel, you're probably not gonna be able to ground the ethernet surge protector properly. So you can, I guess, just go without it. It's gonna be fine. Now, there's a couple of options as far as mounting. So here we have the nano station M5. I'll have a total at the end, but this is 77.94 on Amazon. The Locos, they sell them in a two pack here for 124.96. Uh, then we have this mounting arm. So this is the mounting arm that I prefer to use. This works in basically almost every scenario that you can possibly think of. It's 19 bucks for the mounting arm, uh, but there are a couple of mounting arm options such as the window slash wall mount. This one also works very well. Uh, it's plastic though, as opposed to the other one, which is metal. 
And then we have the Ubiquity Nano Mount, and this is a very just small piece of sheet metal uh, sort of formed into the shape here uh, that allows you to mount the nano station to a pole. That's only six bucks, so that's like the cheap option. I probably wouldn't go with that, but uh, it is an option available to you. Then we have the ETH SPG2 surge protector. It's $12.50. And finally, here is the good old UAP AC light at $78.99. Again, I will have quantities, full parts list down in the description below, as well as links to where you could purchase all of this stuff if you're looking to do a similar setup. So that's our nano station setup, right? And that's fine. That's five gigahertz. It's decent technology. It's actually probably a little bit even overkill for what he's trying to do. And the total cost of that, uh, that would be the one M5, the two local M5s, three are, uh, antenna mounts, three S uh, surge protectors, and two AC lights. You're looking at $455.53. Really great setup, but let's go overkill, right? So what if you wanted to do an AC setup instead? Same general architecture, but in an AC setup, I really like the Light AP AC. It's the model number LAP120. This is that sort of thin, uh, all-in-one access point, uh, point to multi-point access point that I just really love. It made my like top five Ubiquiti gear list from last year. And so I would go with that on the house where the internet connection is. Again, you want to use the surge protector. And then on the station sides, it's going to be very similar, except we're going to upgrade here. Instead of the Nano Station M5, or local M5s, we're going to do the Nanobeam AC Gen 2s. This is going to provide even more throughput. Again, way overkill for what he wants to do, but still, we like overkill, right? So Nanobeam AC Gen 2 into a surge protector, and then instead of the AC Lite, we're going to go with the AC Pro access points. If we look at pricing on Amazon, the LAP120 is $81.37. The Nanobeam AC Gen 2s are $92.42. And then we have the UAP AC Pro, which is $134.26 each. Of course, you would also need some sort of unified controller. I am not uh, adding that to this mix. This is just for basically the point to multi-point plus the access points. Okay, so there you have it. There is a quick overview of what I would probably do in Dave's situation. Dave, I hope you enjoyed that. And what would you guys do differently if you wouldn't do what I did here? Put that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And if you guys have a similar situation, I hope I'm not opening up the floodgates, but go ahead and email it over to info at crosstalksolutions.com. And uh, there's a small chance that I will turn it into a video and get your question answered for you. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, links to everything down below. If you want to click through to Amazon and buy anything, I certainly would appreciate it. Uh, but there's also just a full parts list if you don't. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.